I'm not a vampire, not an alien. I'm not the fucking mummy. I'm a goblin. Greetings, my goblin nation. I am the twisted goblin, and I'm here for your videos, for your random videos, because. God, I've been uh, uh, not seeing a lot of TV shows, movies that I like. So it's like, hey, I don't like this. I'm not gonna wait. Oh, I forgot about that. Shit, I like that, but I forgot about it. It happens, man. I, I'm do gaming on uh, Twisted Goblin uh, uh, Black and White. And then sometimes I review that game to for, uh, uh, for videos that I have done. So, now I have played Dead by Daylight a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Now I'm at 70 hours. 70 hours! That's a lot! You know, that's a lot of hours that I've spent on this game. So I felt like, you know, it's time for an update. It's time to update you guys of what I think about it after 70 hours of gameplay. Of playing the game! That I love, you know, you're a killer or you're in Survivor. I played like 4 hours of Survivor max. But, you know, I'm a... Killer maid. Uh, it's like, is it a horror thing? It can be horror, uh, uh, very horrible, uh, horrifying to have a killer going behind you, you while you're trying to fix some generation. It's like that woods going on, uh, uh, going thing. It's like you have the woods, you have four people. Those four people are gonna get murdered by one by. It's pretty much that premise, but in every. Uh, in Dead by Daylight uh, uh, machines you have to uh, So, with that said, we have a new killer in, in town. We also had, the last one was Wesker, you know, from Resident Evil. One of my favorite Resident Evil characters. He is, he is here. And uh, he, he plays like you you dash to him, get grab, uh, grab him, uh, and a uh, bullying. He is a little bit of a god complex. He is a little bit of a god complex. Uh, but it's fun character and certainly fun to play on Dead by Daylight. Then the newer one uh, after Wesker uh, is an original one, an original one of uh, Dead by Daylight. They do some original ones. They do some Resident Evil or some other horror character. They do that. So uh, Dead by Daylight did a night like Forge in the fro Fog, uh, and he has. He has a pretty cool character, he looks like a knight. His helmet, I'm not a big fan of. Don't tell him! Don't tell him I'm not a big fan of his helmet! Alright, don't tell him, right? You're not gonna tell him. I'm just a, a lonely go go oh boy. A lonely gothic cowboy. A lonely gothic co cowboy that's uh, called a twisted goblin. So, come on! You understand that you will not tell him, right? Anyway, so back to the game. Uh, uh, here's a fun character to play. So we ha every killer has something unique about them. So yes, there are lots of killers with knives. I mean, Wesker has a knife. Ghostface has a knife. The Legion has a knife. There are some lots of characters that have a, a fucking knife. Have a knife as a as the thing. Swords, on the other hand, a little bit more, uh, a little bit farther off. Uh, we had to like the samurai uh, god uh, uh, horror icon. We had that uh, killer, but but uh, you know that's that's uh, and he plays way different than the knight. The knight has the sword with some. Uh, it's like hey, we have a, we have a fucking normal sword. Sword. We don't want a just a normal sword. It has some uh, pointy things on it, and uh, we have the knight. There is also the knight has also a skin that makes him more Norse, because Norse is always a call. Uh, you also have the survivor that comes with it that has this Norse skin, but also looks like Dante from Devil May Cry a little bit. That's freaking cool. He looks badass. He looks like hey, this is on my territory. <laughs> It's my fucking thing. I like it. I also like that you can have like this faking skin for uh, for the survivor and him having this other Norse frost giant uh, going on uh, as his other skin. Very much. I love it. I so love it. The smell of it. I like it. Uh, I want more.
Uh, so this night is freaking epic. You also get sometimes you get skins for uh, uh, originals ones that you already had. You don't get so much for the iconic that we already uh, from other movies and t uh, games. You don't get that uh, iconic versions of it that much, but sometimes you do. And I, my uh, my mystery uh, man, woman. Uh, be a uh, god, you know, whatever, whatever you wanna be uh, called. Ah! Uh, this is like so freaking fun. You play a sword, you have a sword, you fight, but it's not everything. You know, everybody has their own Nikia character things that you have done, and uh, and this one, the knight has this uh, char uh special is. Uh, uh, summoning other other knights like other other characters that he controls uh, you could you can have see that their paths like you can make their pets like this is their pets they can run to the uh, one and third it's like 30 seconds is never long but it's enough to trying to spot somebody if they spot something they go behind it they go after it they run and then you see the survivor run I run and run Oh, it's so magical you see them little pointy run. Run, little boy, run! Or little girl, you know. Whatever flows your boat. You know, they're, they're girl, boys, they're only like a hundred years old, Max. I'm two million years old! How wonderful! Anyway, so, uh... So you got uh, the killer trying to, and even with the survivor, but then they all got the Mori. And with the latest update, you also get bots. The good kind of bots, not the bad ones that irritate the fuck out of you. No, the good ones that that uh, try to give it a little bit more, uh, difficult easier. Sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's uh, harder, because the bots know where the fuck you are. So the moment you come too close, they're gone. You do, you uh, you hope you see them and you can go astray to them. But that if if you get close, doesn't matter if they can see you or not. They know you're there because it's you know the computer. This is a bot, so it can uh, know uh, if you get close and it's gone. It's gone. That's a little bit not after. They're very much faster on their feet. They're not gonna be uh, surprised if you're there because they're faster on their feet. Uh, so the but it's also they're not going so fast with the machines they if you get there they're gone like it's also not uh, some some uh, survivors try to stay close the uh, the bots they go to the next one to the next generator trying to go to the next generator uh, already they leave this one alone till you get there and then they get back there sometimes if they're one of the bots is uh, somewhere else and it comes to there yeah that's you have but you know, you have the and I play this killer, my fake. Uh, I'm at the bots. It's a little bit easier, a little bit more fun to make videos about it. Yes, I make twi videos on Twisted Goblin Black and White. If you really wanna know, and if you really wanna check it out, it's you know in a classic style, black and white, a little bit more not. Uh, uh, go back to the 40s uh, where when color TV was not a thing yet, you know. Going back, uh, way back, is uh, so that I have less color in my life, that I can see the things that are uh, the horrifying truths. Everyone! So, uh, so you play the survivors trying to survive, trying to open it, but if they don't survive, if one gets killed. They do well very fast trying to uh, get get people off the uh, thing, off the hook. So it happens fast unless you're around it, sticked around it. But that's, you know, normal. And also, bots have no feeling, so you can stay around it without being reported. Because they're bots! They don't freaking care how you play! They only care what they're programmed to do. And they're programmed to just obey the rules of the game. Nothing more, nothing less. And uh, you see them all straight for it. You see them uh, go for it. The bots are very, very... And it's also cool because in the middle of the day, if I play Dead by Daylight in the evening, no problem. I have a game like this. If I play it in the middle of the day, in the morning, I 
Dead by Daylight doesn't like me. Dead by Daylight, uh, nobody plays it in the middle of the day apparently. And everybody lives. Everybody's not online. Everybody's there. So it can take a half of an hour sometimes to have a match. A fucking match an hour! That's too long! And then sometimes you get die directly. Or they escape very fast. Uh, it's like... That seems like a little bit of a waste of time. And then I have to wait another fucking hour to have the next match. I don't like that. I don't want that. i rather not. So, thanks to the bots, I can still play in the middle of the day. So, I think the bots are very much a great adaptation to it. It also gives more life to this game than it had never before. So, like, now you can play the game in a hundred years from now. Why? Because they're bots! Even if nobody plays it and you wanna play it, YOU CAN! Because they're bots! <sighs> so... That's a magnific! That's terrific! That's fantastic! I like it! I like the way you go, girl! This is the way I like! This is the way it should be! Like with bots, I like it! I'm glad the attitude is... Uh, yes, they're not the smartest bots, Sometimes they're m too much easy, but they're still a little bit of a challenge. They're not the easiest fucking to, but they're programmed just right. I feel they're programmed just right. But, and, and yes, it's easy to get a Mori. That's your kill. Because you hook them, give them to your god uh, that got you there to make you able to kill even more. Kill more! It's always a good time to kill more! So... That uh, all all stuff is uh, good. You know, they're able to kill, able to keep on killing as a as, uh, even even if they're not real, you can still kill. It's called also be in hell for uh, for them. It's like keep on killing, they keep on coming back, they keep on kill. It's like you even as a killer, you stay in this loop, in this endless loop that nobody can get hurt, nobody. You're in. And you pretty much uh, are being tortured. You never able to kill them because I always come back. So yes, kind of a hell too. But also, a con but you also can keep on kill. It's a curse and a, and a good thing for a killer. But that's pretty much it. So like I played seventeen hours. Every every killer has this one thing. Survivors are pretty much uh, the same. They have perks. They have. Uh, I'm not a master in perks. I'm just got my Mori was like very much vi much fun, but I was like, hey, finally get a Mori after killing the after the the like uh, the Moris are very cool to see the killer. Uh, I love when they happen. It's like okay, the last one is for you. I like that, and the last one I finally can kill. And the uh, knight has this one that he everybody he summons is the other uh, the other people he uh, he co can control. And they do the brand him thing, and then the 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 knight does in his uh, in his uh, around his chest and grab it and kill it, and he dies. It's a brutal kill, and I like it. Wesker has this. Uh, he he even has one liner because it's Wesker. He is a fucking amazing, awesome person. And the killing uh, god complex. A guy with a cost complex, uh, one of the uh, founding, f no, not the founding founders of cor uh, the Umbrella Corporation, but the biggest deal in the Resident Evil lore. So, you know, he, he has even one liners that's fun that you don't see, but uh, Dead by Daylight that much. But I recommend this game. I still, after 70 hours of playing this game, I still fucking recommend playing this freaking game. This game stays good and stays up. Yes, it takes a long time. Yes, I pop on it, off it, on it, off it, on it, off it, on it. You know, I do that a lot. But, you know, you don't need every game to be a story-driven game. You can have those games you pop on, pop off. This is one of those games. And I very much recommend it. If you don't have all the time in the world. If you live in, I don't know, China. And you only can play three hours. Then this game is very cool to play. Uh, keep on playing every every day. You can play three hours. Play it. I would rather that you could play more than three hours. 
Ow. I wish you could have a ticket to another country because Jesus Christ, China. Okay, open your borders. Open your mind, man. Open your mind to the possibility. Yes, the internet can be fucking asshole. And yes, there is lots of hate on the internet. But games is a stress relief. Games can do so much good. You just need to find the goodness. Even in the darkest, even in the darkest pit, there is light. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye bye, good night. This was my updated thoughts about uh, about Dead by Daylight, and I recommend this DLC and and the whole fucking game. If you haven't played it, play it, and see you soon. Then the days got worse and worse, and now you see I've gone completely out of my mind.